Hi friends! My name is Owen. I hope you are doing great. My school took my class on a field trip. What a beautiful landscape right? My teacher told our class to pay attention to our surroundings, and the correct order for the levels of organization of the ecosystem. Hmm. So, I'm wondering. Operations should have levels of organization as well, right? Well. I think I should call my friend, she loves math. Let's hope she answers my call. She is in Bangkok, Thailand right now. Oh. Hi Florence, how are you? I have a question for you. Can you help me with the concepts of order of operations, and algebraic expressions? Hi. I'm doing great. Of course. I can help you with that. Well, let's talk about operations first. Operations mean things like add, subtract, multiply, divide, etc. If it isn't a number, it is probably an operation. But, when you see something like 3 times 2 plus 3. What part should you calculate first? Calculate them in the wrong order, and you can get a wrong answer. Well, let's use PEMDAS. That means, that we need to do things in parentheses first. Then, powers and roots. And, multiply or divide before you add or subtract. Always remember to go left to right. For example, how do you work out the following expressions? 3 plus 6 times 2. If we use PEMDAS, we should multiply 6 times 2, and then, add 3 plus 12. The answer is 15. In the second expression, we need to solve what's inside the parentheses, first 3 plus 6 is 9, and 9 times 2 is 18. Interesting right? Also, we need to be able to translate words into expressions. These expressions are called, algebraic expressions. Like, the sum of A and B. We just need to look closely at the phrases, this will tell us which of the four operations we should write. And, each phrase tells you to operate on two numbers, look for the words, of and and, to find the numbers. For example, the difference of 10 and 5. The keyword is, difference, which tells us the operation is subtraction, look for the words, of and and, to find the numbers to subtract. Now, write the following expression. The product of 4 and 8. Very good. We can write this expression like this. And what about the quotient of 9x and 3? Very good. The keyword is quotient, which tells us the operation is division. I hope this was helpful. See you soon Owen. Thank you so much, Florence. See you soon. Bye. So. What do you say? Can you continue recognizing algebraic expressions in real-world situations? Just remember that today you learned the steps on how to solve expressions by following the order of operations. And how to write and translate algebraic expressions from words. Practice a lot and you will see that you will become an expert. Well, the bus is waiting for me, so I have to go now. Bye. And see you next time.